stop that. AJ, did you want to stop at this connector? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah. I'm all stopped. Roger that. Yeah, it looks like it's still plugged in, but the buoy... Yeah, stand by and I'll, I'll line up for a zoom and then we can check it out. Okay, that's slow. Just float definitely slid. Yeah. I think we should abandon these football floats altogether. Okay, zoom in, please. You guys just got to put tape on either side. Yeah. Well, you can look at our tether next time when we come on deck, see what we do. Yeah. It's pretty, it's works. been effective for us. Yeah, so it works for us too. A very unstable, sorry, video. Do you want some more? No, no, it's, it's my fault. No worries at all. There's your uh, connected bendy yeah. RMG there. Yep, okay. Oh, great, they're RMGs. Yeah, that's known for being good. Okay, come full wide, please. Full wide. You see what you want to see, AJ? Can I continue sure descent? Yep. Going down. Roger. Hey, Trevor, what's the DI on that one? Nope. Do you want it? No. Okay. <laughs> what's our depth? 2090? 2092, yeah. Okay, 2090. 90. That's going to be a great year. Yeah, I hope to see it. Buddy, we'll see it. And our, no, I haven't found pressure. You think so? Yeah, they're 37s. Yeah, you know, water medicine, robotics, they'll just replace mm. stuff with robot with parts. Robot parts, yeah. Imagine having a craft arm for your real arm. Nope. <laughs> just imagine it. Okay. But they are connected to the second <coughs> package. But I gotta walk around with a deck pack. Okay. It's your heart, man. <laughs> my heart is my deck pack. I gotta get my deck pack checked. <laughs> uh, my, other, my other deck pack is a heart or something. <laughs> a bumper sticker. <laughs> Lamest bumper sticker of all time. Also, <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It has nothing no, to do with driving. Ter terrible. My other kid is an honor student. That would be a funny one. <laughs> My <laughs> other <laughs> stick it to your kid with bad grades. <laughs> oh, terrible parenting. <laughs> or I wish my kid was an honor student. <laughs> Imagine if someone with a fancy car put that sticker on their beater car that they also own. So like, my other car is a Porsche or something. And Should I put that on my truck? Because I literally, I could. You could. That <laughs> my would truck's be... beat. Trevor, did you get a Nico sticker? A Nico sticker? Yeah. Money. No, I don't have a sticker you that get says a Nico. Nico. Sticker. No, the one that says my other car is an RLB. Oh, no, I've heard of those. I do not have that. There's a grammatical error that drives me nuts, though. My other car is an ROV. Is a ROV. It says a ROV? No, it says an ROV. No, it doesn't. A ROV? Yeah. That is oh, correct. No. Is a ROV? No. That is correct. No. It sounds incorrect, but it is. It's not correct. Yes, it's not correct. it is. Depends on whether you, when you read it, you say ROV or whether you say remotely operated vehicle. Yes. Or ROV. Rob. Or Rove. If Rob. you say if you say Rov, then it's correct. Yeah. But if you say ROV, it's not correct. Everybody knows it's Rov. My other car is a Rov. That's correct. So acronyms need to be an. If no. you read out the letters and the letters start with a vowel, when 
and they still start with a vowel. Yeah, they R do though. R starts with a vowel. Oh, the letter. Oh my. Oh, yeah. How do you spell genius. R? Genius. R R like R R R R A R R R. This is okay. Stop, everybody. Stop. <laughs> We're 56 meters off bottom. My other car is an ROV. Is a ROV <laughs> terrible? It's a roll. Okay. That's that's makes it funny again. Sure does. Nico is so proud of those. Oh yeah. Bless his heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. <laughs> That phrase is like the most patronizing phrase anyone can ever say. I love Absolutely. It. He uh, he wants a photo, Josh, of your truck with it on. Okay, I will um, send he'll, that to him when I get back. He'll Photoshop that immediately. <laughs> Do you have any old uh, L or Ns? Oh yeah. So you can stick the sticker to that, and then it turns it into a magnet. Uh, Life it, hack. It would. I'd have to have a few of them because the sticker's pretty big. Yeah, you'd have to cut them up. I'm sure I still have half a dozen of those. You can probably just go get another one. What's the deal with the L's and the N's? Like, can you, do you, I guess people just leave them on their cars when their kids are learners, or do you have to take, does it mean that the kid is driving when they're on? Yeah, In theory, it's yes. To. You're not supposed to have it on if you have a full driver's license. Okay. However, everyone screws that up all the time. I see. Near Maybe. the bottom here. Yep, I'm 13 meters up bottom. Yep. Me, 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 me. Yeah, that's what my wife was saying. She's like, no, the L's on there, so it must be the kid driver. I was like, I don't, I think they just leave it on. Well, yes, most people do. It's like, oh, that person's driving. That means they must be sober. Hmm. That's, yeah. It's a great assumption. It's illegal for them to not be. They must oh, be. Well. Okay, let's go back to the IP. Back to the IP. I'm going to come to starboard in hopes that one day we'll be able to take that 6-8 wrap out. That orange flag is there. Look at this big concrete block us. Yeah, you want that? Nope. For sale. I might need some uh, Herc ballast. So For sale by that. owner. <laughs> That'd be great to get a little sign that fits into a Fletcher plate. That's down there now, right? That would be really funny. Cable A looks good. Not too much excess. I thought there would be a big loop in it. Cause I Put the Supreme Leader's phone number on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go after that beacon right there. The one you put in the leg yeah. that definitely does not have a bolt in it. Let's go after it. The bolt does not have a what? <laughs> the leg does not have a bolt through the middle. Hmm. What did we hit then? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. We'll never know. No way to know. Can Dude. you come double super extra wide on Herxus, please? Thank you. Good view of that flange box. What's a flange box? It, like goes on the side of the cable A spool and then like pops off and has the termination can in it. Okay. Uh, Josh, you want to do your thing? Okay. I guess. Okay. If I have to. Ready? Uh, sure. You want to just grab it on the fly? Yeah, I guess. We're going to put that on the starboard side? Wherever you want. Starboard Probably starboard side. side will be more out of the way. Okay. You won't have that ready rod poking up at your camera. Ready rod. What are we doing for this? You're just going to fly around? Uh, I was just going to land can right here. land anywhere. On the IP, sure. Yeah. Oop. Okay, why don't we just... Yeah, why don't you do whatever you want? How's that? Thanks. All right. Once this is in, we have completed our section 
for the southeast mooring site. What do now, these buttons do? Nothing? Great. We'll be, when, tra when Trevor's done here, this we'll be transiting out. to the southwest mooring. So that one, we should have gotten a beacon hit on while we were deploying it. Okay. Ready for sample tray out? Ready. Looks like, yeah, it looks like it's south of our little target area there. The USBL deploy mark there is probably the most accurate. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, front row, whenever you're ready, we can head over to the southwest site. Roger that. How far is that? Uh, 600 meters and change. Cool. You can call a ship move in now. Okay. We can follow a cable there as well. Oh, I'm so excited about that. So the cable is going to be the green one that runs west from this IP. You, sorry, did you say the green one? Yeah, it's, well, I think it's maybe yellow. The one that's Bridge dead ahead now. of me? Are you looking west? Yep. Uh, yes. Okay. Can we move five zero meters west, please? Thank you. You know who else went west once? Sure do, AJ. Tell me, AJ. Fifle mouse quits. Yeah, we really need to watch that. I sw that's got to be the best movie of all time. I don't want to go bonk, that bonk, far, bonk. but I also <laughs> want to give you the lazy eye. The <laughs> crazy eye. I call it the lazy eye because when I was a kid, I didn't. Oh, it works again. I didn't. Uh, that's what I thought it was. Did you have a lazy eye as a kid? If you did, that's fine. I'm not shaming you. No, I know. I would totally own it, <laughs> I did, but I didn't. Can you correct that? With yeah, you get glasses. You get special glasses. Cool. <laughs> that, uh, like, brings it back in, I don't know, or, like, tightens the muscle. You could spin around and look, I think, now, maybe, possibly. Now, which way do you want to do that? Just starboard. Are we getting some big cable tester or something? Something? Oh, that's over there. Yeah. I we see sure it are. Yeah. There's even a market nav for it. I see it now. Yes. Should have looked. Should have used my eyes. So is the sub uh, trimmed light? Yes. Because we're going to be carrying that 19 kilos around with us for a while. Roger. We're probably going to ditch a plate. Okay. Do you want to do this, or do you want me to? Okay. Oh, we said good morning to Nicole and to Jacob, but not to Malina. Yeah, rude. Super rude. <laughs> our apologies. How's your body this morning after not, our boot camp? No, not. <laughs> no, Marley needs to just needs to just chill. Hang on, there was a boot camp? We were all doing oh, moorings and you guys uh, were in a boot camp? Absolutely we were, yep. What's involved? Boots. Boots and camps. Okay. Okay. A uh, little bit of crying. Yeah. <laughs> Some tears. I don't know if it was sweat or tears. Both. Salt water either way. I know, I saw Mel and I coming, coming back from that. She looked great. She looked like she was in a great mood. <laughs> Did you see me? Cause no, I didn't. <laughs> I wish I did. But then you you um, you continued, Josh. Uh, yeah, I did a little bit because I was pumped up from the workout, so I did a little bit of shadow boxing. Pretended like I knew what I was doing. Yeah, you. I think I wish I did what you did, though. That looked fantastic. Hey, Jacob. Yeah. While we're waiting for the ship. 
Sure thing. You want to zoom in on some rocks and white squishy looking things? That sounds great to me. Great I'm squishy. a fan of that. I will you go ahead and zoom go right ahead. on in. Zoom on in on whatever you want. What's this floating thing in the water? What's this? Oh, yeah, I see it. Just on top. Just mm -hmm. wide, like please. a kind Let's of worm. Let's see if I can right find yeah. Oh, what that. kind of worm? Yeah, zoom Some in kind again. of worm. Oh, keep that worm in view. Yep. It's dancing. I remember Literally. seeing it on the guide. I'm going to hunt it down. Literally doing the worm, but vertically. It's pretty good at it, too. It's really yeah. good at it, yeah. I like that it's well, going like, side to side worm. at the top. It looks like credit. an underwater uh, centipede. I was going to say, yeah. Some kind of polychaete. Oh. Are you going to beat me, Sean, and hunting down the name of this? No, I'm just guessing. Oh. You go ahead and figure it out, Weirdly please. That's cool. What's that guide? It's a worm, and it's O and C Marine Life Guide All right, PDF. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. Oh. How come you have that and yeah. I don't? <laughs> Where's our version of that? <laughs> <laughs> Where is mine? Yeah, O and C staff members. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you, it's you guys just have we're, the we're repository. Too focused on cable IDs. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, DIs, DIDs. DIDs. AJ and his ONC IDs, RCM. <laughs> but it's an at symbol. Look at them all, all those little stars walking away from us. Are we walking or what? Shuffling. Scooching? Shuffle. Scooch? Like shuffle. Scooch. You see how there's one leg like, oh, they don't scooch yeah, with? Scooch, they dangle one yeah. leg behind them. Is that always the same leg? Tailed Pacific Transparent Worm. Tom up. Tom up Terrace. Okay, yeah. That sounds about right. Okay, I'll do my job. I love how it goes midnight, A, 1 a.m., 10 p.m. Just pick a time. Random time generator. What? 11.21. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. That's not right. That's right. almost 5 o'clock here. 4.22. Hey. <laughs> Steph's jacket looks so comfy. It does, doesn't it? Every time I see it, I'm like, I want one like that. This is some vintage Canadiana. Mountain Equipment Co-op. I've uh, never heard Canadiana before. It's like Americana, but you know. But like for us. For us. There's also Hawaiiana. Is there? Yes. Ooh. I don't think we have Vancouver Island Diana. What was that, Trevor? I don't think we have Vancouver Island Diana. Uh, Islandana. Islandana. I feel like that's just an Islander. But however, this is like referring to like vibe Anna to add uh, Anna at the end of it if it's Canadiana. Yeah, or like, yeah, or like cultural, I don't know, like common or significant. Hey, AJ, yeah. there, we had an ONC planning meeting before this cruise and you threw down a really good Canadiana reference, which I don't think anyone fully appreciated. I don't. Um, I don't even fully appreciate it. When, <laughs> what, what, what was when it? we wrapped up the meeting, you're like, "That's it. That's all. That's everything." Uh, so I, I that's, don't even know if that was intentional. Hip lyrics. Is it? Yeah, that's where uh, that saying comes from. Well, maybe I would. Rest in peace, Gord Downey. Tragically hip lyrics. Yeah. I have a couple of questions here. May I drop them? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. how are these instruments moorings powered and do they go to the surface or are they entirely underwater? Thank you. Was that already asked? No, I don't think so. Okay, no. cool. I mean, we've talked a bit about them, but not too much, but Turn the light off. they are entirely underwater. They are powered, um, via our main Neptune cable, which is our big power and communications cable that runs from Vancouver Island out to this Endeavor hydrothermal vent area. So we have uh, nodes and we have junction boxes. And so at the site we were just at, which is RCM South East, East. there's a junction box there. That's sort of the big instrument platform that we went that has the plug sticking out of it. And that allows us to, yeah, manage our communications and our power. Um, 
levels to the mooring itself. Then also at the base of the mooring, there's another pressure vessel that houses electronics that allow us to split the communications to each of the instruments and also step down the power once again. So our whole network is sort of tiered through these levels of junction boxes. Um, so there's, yeah, one on the seafloor and then one at the base of the mooring. That, and that's what's required for those. The mooring that we're going to go see is an autonomous mooring. So it's the same instruments, but they're battery powered. They're not plugged in and the data will be collected after the fact. You can see that we're following a cable. So these moorings used to be cabled, but this cable was damaged. And instead of replacing the cable, which is very expensive, we don't have too much longer on this particular project. So we have chosen to do the instruments autonomously as a, a way of saving cost. Hopefully that answered the question. You can go faster. Yep. Video, please what zoom on that? the red thing. Great answer Absolutely. to the question. Thank you. Poralia, maybe. S awesome spine, awesome jelly. Look this at the little goosebumps. I know. It's so cold. Yeah. It's pretty cold down there. It's pretty cold. How cold is it, AJ? It's like 1.5 degrees. I don't know. Where's your temperature? Put your temperature sensor on. Okay, you make me use my hands. Yeah. Yeah, 1.81 degrees. 1 .8. Thank you, video. Good for what? What's that in Fahrenheit? Mm, cold. 34. 37 Kelvin. Five and a half. <coughs> 275. Kelvin. Nerd. Nerd. <laughs> you know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd, you know stuff. <laughs> what kind of rocks are these? Did we ever zoom in on one of those white squishy things yet? They the look like... round ones? Little sponges. Itty bitty sponges? I don't know what they are. They could I'm be snails. Up. Or... Uh, I like this cliff coming up in Atlanta. That'll be fun. or something. Oh, it's still 40 meters away. What could go wrong? Well, and I'll try to get you to zoom in on one of those once we have a sec. Thank you. I'm we're sure we'll be waiting on the ship at some point. We're moving at lightning speed right now, so... Catching up with ourselves. Ludicrous speed. Um, how long will y'all be diving for today? Uh, a while. We've got a pretty long dive ahead of us. Uh, after this, we're going to do a subsea transit over to Main Endeavor Field, where we have a few tasks. I'd say we're going to be in the water for the better part of the day. Video zoom, please. Absolutely. On the pink squishy Thank and you. white squishies. Can I have front porch bubble cam, please? Can you hear French put rubber kit that you? And let's see if we can find the white squishy. There's a white squishy. Sure. I don't know what any of that is. Okay, come wide, please. Come wide. Jeez, who's flying this thing? The white squishies. No, the sub. Full zoom. Why not? We're in a rush here because we're trying to stay focused to the task. Yeah, AJ. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was getting distracted. Nothing is quite as fun as zooming in on things and losing sight of suspended cables. What is our transit speed, Nav? You're not on SPL and I cannot hear you. Uh, 0.7 knots. Okay, copy. Thanks, Nav. <laughs> Hello, Crab. Uh-oh. Yeah, AJ, we could go up to the whole come up in the water and zip along as fast as possible. But the ramp up and ramp down time, I would say yeah. it's probably, you might come out net neutral. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Well, over this distance, so probably less, but yeah. over to... Over to math, math, we'll do that, yeah. Well, we didn't last time. We came up. Oh, we came up, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, came, we up. came up. Yeah, gotcha. So how, if we come up, you can go like a knot? Well, the thing is, we can go sometimes a knot and a half, but uh, the 
the big thing is the ship will change its heading a lot. Yeah. So it's doing a little bit now, but uh, yeah. then it has to get restationed. Gotcha. At the, at the far end. Gotcha, so gotcha, gotcha. Everything's a compromise. Sure is. That was a tragic hip song, too. See, there we go. <laughs> B-side. Which song is it? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I think this is a funny question. Is it weird knowing that at any point in time, a bunch of people are just watching you do your job? You don't think it's about pretty, it. Yeah, you don't really think about it? Yeah. I think about it a lot. I prefer it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is a bit, it's a bit odd. I do my best to not think about it. I don't, does it couldn't bother me at, like in the slightest. Some people also opt out. It's not for everybody, I feel, to a certain degree. Like, if they don't want to have their spaces. I hear it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I was told a lie. Nah. <laughs> I think the crew, actually, the crew, they opt out to a certain degree. Hmm? Oh, are we waiting for the ships to move again? We sure are. That means we can zoom in again on a view, maybe. Bridge nav. Can we have nice five zero there. meters west, please? Thank you. I was just thinking that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bridge. Yes, please. Yep. We'll keep it moving uh, probably about another 500 meters total. Yes. Thanks. Oh. Fishy. Hello. Hey, front row. Hey, 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 hey. Might as well just get lasers on, eh? Okay. Boop. If that's what you prefer. Boop. That is, yeah. Beep, boop. Thank you. Boop, boop, boop. You're welcome. Next time a fish rolls through, we'll know how big it is. Great thinking, AJ. That's what they pay me for. Good morning, Uncle Bob. I don't know. Wow, There's wow Bob himself. <laughs> Anonymous. All the rock around here is basalt. Maybe? Question mark? Looks like it. All the striations are really cool looking. Is this called pillow lava? Yeah, don't you see how squishy looking it is? It looks pretty soft. Hey, video. Yeah. Can you zoom in, please? Absolutely. Is that a cliff? Wow. All right, good there. You can use maybe a little bit more. A little bit more? Going in. And I'm going to tip the camera down. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to also... Okay, there we go. Sea stars. Are they going to scooch for us? They look like brittle stars to me. Brittle stars. Scooch stars? Scooch stars. All right, I just love doing that. You can come wide. Coming wide. Thanks. That's quite the cliff. 
I'll say. Uh, I got yeah. no bottom lock. Wow. So it's over 100 meters. Yeah, I'm going to stay mid-water so I don't drop down with Atalanta. Yeah. Sounds good. How far are we going? 25 down the meters. Abyss. Uh, we still have a ways to go until the autonomous one. Yeah. You can see we're, we're kind of coming off this here. The autonomous one's all the way over there. Yeah, we got time. We got time. So you're going to teach That's us... That's a tragically hip song. What? Sorry? Oh no, Sam Roberts. I got time. I've been waiting for a while. You guys probably don't know who Sam Roberts is or who the Tragically Hip are. No, I know you do. You're you need Canadian. to come on SPL. No one can hear you. And then you also need to move Bridge your mic now. to your mouth. AJ, figure it out. There you go. Figure what out? That's not me she's talking to. <laughs> No, you got to <laughs> unmute your mic. <laughs> who's who's that? Steph. Steph you just there you go. Welcome Steph. to SPL, Hi, Steph. Steph. I was on mute this whole time. Then. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. Lurking in the background. No one over taught here. me the mute function. <laughs> <laughs> what? The mute is great for when you're going to, like, I you know, you crunch down, down on. Well, yeah, but people could still be listening to you. I don't know how that works, but people can be like secretly listening to you. So if the white is on, then you're talking to people. But, but and if the green is on, then you're listening to them, but yeah, you're but not necessarily talking to them. I had white on. Oh, which one? On SPL. SPL. Yeah, but you're, but still, you're still you're on muted. mute. Okay. <laughs> but like if I'm not talking to ROV, let's say, but they're listening to me, can they hear me? Yeah. As long okay. as you're not muted. If you're muted, no one can hear you. Right, I see. Except for video. Video so is private. Oh. <laughs> He's cheering over there. So who's listening to me? Are you listening to me? Not me, really. Not currently, just SPL, but I could. Uh. I mean, is anybody? <laughs> Hello? Is this thing on? <laughs> There's a bit of a difference between hearing and listening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, let me correct myself, Dave. Are you hearing me? <laughs> I like how Dave pipes in just for that, just for that burn. Let's say peanut gallery over here. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> yep. yep. Paying him good money for those burns. <laughs> A premium burn. Premium. Let's talk about all the great Canadian bands that the Americans probably don't know about. Please educate me. Hey, did you watch the last live show, Tragically Hip? Of course I did, yeah. Yes. Where were you? On a patio on the harbor in Halifax. Oh, nice. Stubborn nice. Goat patio. That's a great place to be. I was camping. They had, outside, they had big the screens bar. outside. Nice. Left and camping. Speaker the, set up. I, uh, I was, we were on the street in New West, and uh, <laughs> Buddy's a big fan, and he's just crying the whole time. Oh, man, it was hard not to. Yeah. The whole the whole patio is like singing every song, right? Oh, totally. like, I think a third of Canada tuned into that. That was like crazy. The CBC numbers, like the yeah, viewing numbers, big. like yeah, ten million people. I think it's ace that most of the world remembers where they were during the Kennedy assassination or when the Tars came down, but Canadians remember where they were when the tragically hip last played. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's like pretty Saturday. true. That was, that was probably like the the most, I don't know. That was like the one time that I really felt like pretty unified around yeah, a totally. specific event. Like yeah. sure when like Canada plays hockey in the Olympics, I everyone's like paying attention, but. Just slow. Tragically hip, that was a big one. I remember where I was during the Kennedy assassination. What's that? They were a good band. They are, they are a good band, <laughs> yeah. 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 I saw them live at Halifax Metro Center. Nice. Me too. Did you? Yeah. What year? Oh, I don't remember exactly, but probably the same time. Yeah, they weren't in Halifax that often. We scored a fight in the mic. 2013, I think was when we were there. You said you were going yeah, slow down. Yeah, that's probably, liar. Yeah, I'm a liar. I was in my undergrad, so. Yeah, right on. Upper pool. Got to go backstage. No way. Did you really? My uh, friend is Paul Langlois' daughter, and he's wow. the I'm, I'm bass just expecting player. for like another, tr like I'd made a wow. Downey. Very cool. All the Kingston. <laughs> Did you? There's a lot of Kingston kids. Yeah. Part of that band. 
Yeah, they're all Kingston. I know they never used to play in Kingston, like though, while the university like students were in. Really? Yeah. So that's University uh, of Kingston. But they'd wait for we'd the university. Like, they'd play summer Curtis. concerts. Oh, and I was there in the summer, uh, usually. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. I wouldn't choose it. I'd listen to them on the radio, I guess, if it came on. Who's that, the hip? Yeah, I'm not a... Not a hip fan, eh? Big hip guy. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't mean I, I don't think that they're not... I, Wait, that was too many negatives. You know what I'm trying to say. I, I get it. I get it. You don't want to offend anyone. No, just no. Not your jam. I realize that they're an iconic Canadian band, and that's important in itself. <laughs> what about Sloan? Less iconic. Less iconic. 5440. Nice. Chilliwack. <laughs> Chilliwack. <laughs> I love the Chilliwack is from Hope. Oh, that's my favorite. the part. best. Rush. Oh, yeah, classic. Yep. I'm all out. Of Canadian bands? Yeah. Huh. Just Meeper. <laughs> yeah. Feist's Canadian. Left that one out. Monster yeah. Truck are Canadian, aren't they? Who? A band called Monster Truck? Monster I've Truck. I've never heard of Monster, Monster Truck. Truck. No. I saw them in a bar in Hamburg years ago. Oh. They were this. That sounds pretty cool. Let's look them up. They sound country. Yeah, Hamilton, Ontario. Bottom yeah. Site. Yeah, there you go. Steel Town. How about Rusty? Isn't that where the first Tim Hortons was founded? Hamilton? Yeah. Go really? figure. Yeah, I think so. Uh, where's that cable? Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> yep, <laughs> confirm. 1964. <laughs> That's a very funny thing to say. <laughs> 1964. No Is that every Tim every Canadian found? should know that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've really fallen us. out of love with Tim Hortons. No, I get it. Yeah. I had my first is. one ever when I got here, on the way in. Did you have your last one ever? Yeah. <laughs> first not, I, I certainly had my last breakfast yeah. ever out of there. It's not what it once no, was. No, it's not for food. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, for donuts it's, it's a shadow of its former self. Yeah. yeah. Now it's Brazilian. Good eyes. We're back. Hello, Cable. From outer space. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah. Just cool rock formation. No. My good friends, karaoke go tos. I can't steal it. Are we um. gonna go off another cliff, or what's the scoop? Uh, it looks like we will. It's only a small oh, little cliff. It's that's, a ways away. That's what we need on this ship: karaoke machine. Oh God, no! Ooh, <laughs> that'd be pretty funny. Yes. Oh, for those multi-beaming so days. Yeah. My ears are starting to bleed already. <laughs> Just thinking about that. So they deployed Dave's two years moorings last night? They deployed two moorings, yeah. Oh. The second one being Speaking autonomous late. was a lot easier. Yeah, they were still, when I woke up at 11, they were still, like, hanging them out. I came oh, out God. around midnight, and they were pulling the sea catch on the second mooring. Is there Going down some more. Is there a karaoke bar in Victoria? Uh, I don't know anymore. Mm. You going to karaoke, Josh? I would love to. I don't know. Delta, please? Yeah. I don't know. Any Is that what you said first time? And I didn't listen. Places. I don't know if I actually said it. Sure or there didn't. are. Either. Could have been anything. <laughs> I don't go out enough. <laughs> Look at this great little herc sized hole here. Yeah. Little parking garage. Little cubby. I guess that's the next thing that someone needs to bring if they want to have karaoke on the ship. I have some microphones at home. I'll bring them next time. We had that as the speaker in the ROV shop for a while. It was like a big boom boxy thing with a mic. Yep. There was no screen with a bouncing ball, but. Uh, the time of my life. 
I got that song stuck in my head. Never felt this way before. I've never seen that movie. Why not? I don't know. What She's movie? never made the list. Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing. Oh, is that other person named Baby in it? Uh-huh. Don't. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. Who's the, is it Patrick Swayze? Yeah. Sure sure it, is. it is Patrick Swayze. It's one, probably his most iconic role. Uh, one of them. Uh, Point Break. Ooh. Nice one. Look you at see the, the new Point Break? <laughs> no. No. Look at the sedimentation layers or whatever they are. Like the... Layers, layers of lava. Yeah, that's pretty Quite cool. Hot. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You're right, Asia. And we're coming up. Just a wee bit more. Just a touch. Who was telling me? I think it was maybe Nico who was telling me that the new he really liked the new Point Break. It was good. I saw the new one before I saw the old one. I don't know why, just the way it worked out. I feel like I, I started watching the new one and it was all about like these extreme sports. Is that... Yeah. Yeah, it seemed kind of out of place. It was not meant to be a remake. It was meant to be a new version. Okay. I think. I've never seen the original. Have uh. you seen the new one? Keanu. We're going to Southwest Mooring USBL deploy 20 something. Okay, Roger. That's yeah, the probably not where this cable goes. Yeah, the cable might not take us there. We do have to get the cable tester at the end of the cable at some point. We that can, looks like on the way to meth. Yeah, we can try to find the mooring first. What's okay. that? What's a crab? Grass. Uh, Maybe. That looks like too many legs. Too Who's many legs for guy? a crab. What are you? Reveal your secrets. Reveal yourself. We have time for a zoom in. Uh, stand by. <coughs> I'm probably gonna get bounced around at the end of my leash, but that's fine. Go ahead, zoom. Roger that. That looks like a crinoid. I oh, agree. Yep. That would be my guess. Yeah. With a sea anemone next to it. What's the thing in the back? Mushroom coral? Cup coral? Something like that? Mushroom coral? Rock coral? I don't know. It's pink and it's squishy and... Okay, thank you, video. Squishy. Absolutely. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna read someone's hobby that's in this van and you folks have to guess who it is. Are you ready? Some of those might have been written a long time ago. Oh, I haven't updated mine since. Agreed, some of those are quite old. Forever. Uh, yeah, then mine's six years old. Hobbies that change, would be you know? an even better challenge. Right. Okay. Oh, no. We can Fine. like, okay, you guys ready? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah I'm gonna leave this cable alone. It's not where we're going anymore. Yeah. See ya. Go we ahead, wanna be ya. Nice. Cool, cool. Okay, I quote, I am not sure it can be called a hobby, but in my time off, I manage rock bands and run an events company that hosts rock events across the... Oh, well, let's say say this country, it's going to give it oh, away. Well, we know who it is. Yes. Oh, yeah, we all know who it is. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to just it. continue because I think it's really cool. Across oh. the UK, the flagship of which is a three-day, three-stage outdoor rock festival this year, hosting 54 bands. Wow. I did not know that about wow. you, Dave. Dang. So many bands. It's quite That's a lot of bands. What's the rock festival called? Co Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, Call of the Wild. I'm going to look this up now. Where is it? Uh, Lincoln. <coughs> um, in the UK. Okay, someone's going to share his name. Yeah, good <laughs> job, guys. <laughs> Are you doing a cool thing? Wow. Hmm? Nothing, nothing. There it is.
Oh, it already happened this year. How'd yeah. it go? Really well. Really, really well. Yeah. Numbers are up. Lots of rock. Right across. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always cool lots of rock. It's a really lots cool poster, yeah. I like everyone's, like, logo, band name logo. So the, all the bands provided this? It's like if you're a band, you have to have, like, a band logo? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's part of it. It's I didn't all know about that was branded, man. Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's where a lot of bands feel they don't treat it like a business. Yeah, it's understandable. So, like, do people camp also? Mm hmm. Cool. Yeah. Camping. Like people, you can see people in tents, people in glamping tents, people with motorhomes, caravans, the whole nine yards. Yeah. Wow. Oh, a bunch of rocks. Rock band. You missed a fish earlier. Dang. <laughs> I'm too focused on sharing everyone's hobbies and learning more about each other. Mm. Mm, I don't want to call this a quarry, but I do all at the same time. <laughs> I wonder how they got broken up like that in this one particular area. Maybe the cliff fell over. It yeah, looks like some a kind bunch of slide of, event. Looks like a bunch of pillow basalts that like got cracked oh. off. And <coughs> 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 slide. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? Yeah, let's do it. Sure. I enjoy exploring the outdoors, including climbing, hiking, caving, and cycling. The more time outside, the better. Mm. Steph. Steph. <laughs> I don't think it's me. It's, it's not I'm Steph. I'm not a caver. Oh. But I knew Steph was into climbing. Who else climbs? Someone climbs in here. What about... You have a fellow climber, Steph. Uh-oh. Who could it be? Jacob? Jake. Uh, it is not me. No. Not me. Lynette, Lynette where Lynette are now. you? Join join the conversation. <laughs> well, she's the one. Is it Lynette? Oh, it's Lynette. It is her. Oh, she's nice. the one that's focused in here. It might be me. Yeah, I was thinking it might be you. I don't rock climb anymore. Caving? <laughs> <laughs> I definitely read this from Trevor's. Oh, huh. cool. There you go. Do you oh. still cave? I haven't read Is it that. Trevor's? Uh huh. Oh. Define Trevor, caving. yeah. Going Wait. in caves. There's a cave I want to hit this summer near uh, Spur Lake. Spur Lake, Jeb just went uh, into a cave up island. He like, took a tour. Horn Lakes? Maybe. When are you gonna be able to go into the Sarlacc pit? Where is that? It's like in Northern BC. Just a massive Sarlacc. cylindrical cave that goes straight down. It's like probably the largest cave system in Canada. Wait, you're being really? serious. There's an actual cave named the Sarlacc Pit? Yeah. What's Sarlacc? Well, it's, it's from a, Star Wars. It's a Star Wars thing. Oh. Yeah. The Sarlacc Pit. Yeah, on Tatooine, the big... Yeah, 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 yeah. How's it spelled? S-A-R. I don't know. S-A-R. It's just tight. It's, yeah, phonetically. Oh. Sarlacc oh, Pit, wow. B.C. That thing. It was revealed by a glacier. That's from Star Wars. Not too long ago. Yeah, but it will look like that in real life, too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't know about that. The teeth. Yeah, no teeth. Isn't that how Boba Fett meets his end? I think so, yeah. Except they retconned it. This doesn't look quite the same. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> false advertising. <laughs> I didn't name it. Actually, I don't know if that's its formal name. It is pretty creepy. Looks more like a hobbit hole than a sarlacc pit. Yeah. Where is it? My precious. Yes. <laughs> that one was really popping right there, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I love cruising around these fields. I was going to say, Thal Finlayson, I miss you. She would name like every single kind of rock that we're looking at. <laughs> you think you could do like a Rorschach test with these pillow lava? <laughs> what is that? I heard that before. What? The, uh, the ink spots, right? Oh, yeah. What? I have not. What? What do you see, Trevor? What are these? What do you see? What do these pillow lava blocks look like to you? Caves. The ones that we see in front of us now, or the other pillow, the regular pillow lavas? No, like just like, what do you see? Fish. That's a cool fish. fish. Check that out. Look at that Fishy. guy. That's cool. Not have 100% I used to know speed. what it was called, but I forget. Uh, okay, you can zoom, please. The hunt for Roger the name. With pleasure. Look at how big its eyes are. That's how big he is. I'll try not to blind him now. With my wow. lasers. Is this still lasers. the brightest light he's ever seen in his life? Uh, he's not appreciating no, the lasers. Whoa, uh, guy. Whoa, guy. Check me out. Check, check, check my back fin. Yeah, you like that back fin? He's at least this 10 is my centimeters. <clears throat> this is my good side, right He's here. At least 10 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Check me out. Check me out. Let me back up for you. <laughs> check out my nose. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just here. A commentary about what he's actually thinking or not. Sorry, I just genderized him. Sorry. <laughs> I'm hunting for the fish name. Oh, so rough scale rat tail. Mm, no, I don't know. No, it's not a rat tail. <clears throat> Smiling. Um, Pacific flat nose. That looks that more looks like it. That better, might be yeah. it. Yeah. I Hello, Pacific flat nose. It. I'm gonna name him Steve. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye, <laughs> right, Steve. 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 All right, gotta go. See you later, Steve. Bye, Steve. Peace out, Steve. Steve. Okay. This person loves kiteboarding, rock climbing, and pretty much oh, anything this, that, this was easy. that will get me outside in the evenings and on weekends. I also really love relaxing with a good nonfiction book. Like maybe one, like how they learned to calculate longitude. <laughs> Like awesome. that kind of nonfiction. <laughs> I'm just giving you what I read on the. What are your hobbies? Hey, front row. Who do you think that is? Is it me? <laughs> no, we already we did, did you already. Okay. I'm just gonna guess me for everyone now. <laughs> what a narcissist. That sounds fun. What a narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about me. <laughs> That looks like a bunch of plates stacked on each other that got smashed on one side of it. So now it's like... Nice. That looks like a tiny little slide for shrimp. It looks like be, a yeah. Picasso <laughs> face. <laughs> I was totally seeing a little face too. Yeah. It was that nose. Jacob, who do you think? Uh, what was what was the hobbies again? Kiteboarding. What else was there? Non-fictioning. Non well, it's not books. wakeboarding, so. They, they have a Monday to Friday job because they're only doing this stuff on weekends Weekend. and evenings. <laughs> yeah. Outside in the evenings and on weekends. I'm, I'm gonna. So they have to be an ONC employee. Yeah, good point. And it's not AJ because he doesn't leave the house. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's <so hard. laughs> it's, it's Steph. It's Steph. Yeah. Oh, Jacob, I uh, guess Lynette. I guess Lynette. <clears throat> nope. Oh, we're going up. Oh, that was my guess. Beautiful guess. It's kind of cool Someone to see the. Someone guessed it, right? Me? Yeah. 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 Steph. Steph. Ooh, Whoa, that's, that's a nose. That's a, for yeah, sure. Yeah, nose, yep. It's a bulbous. What's your favorite nonfiction book, Steph? Hmm. Let me think about it for a second. <clears throat> the Art of War. 
<laughs> Not that one. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> Harry Potter. All right, another classic nonfiction. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stay off bottom for a bit just until you clear the cliff. Okay. Hey, Shoot Dave, you still on here? Mm-hmm. You want to come sit here for a minute? Sure. Four, five, four. All Sorry. <laughs> we're good, thanks, Josh. All the BLT. Thanks. BLT, Josh. Thank you. <laughs> this joke made every morning. <laughs> no, just when you when you offered to make coffee, I asked for a BLT, and now there's three of us asking for BLTs. <laughs> Can someone? Oh, so BLT stands for bacon, lettuce, and tomato. That's right. Correct. And it doesn't matter what kind of bread it is. Guess not. When I think of BLT, I think of a. Uh, um, what is that? A round donut looking thing? A bagel. Donut. Bagel. You could, have, bagel BLT. you could have a bagel belt. Bagel belt. A B-E-L-T. Yeah. yeah. With egg. With egg. It's the best thing to get in Tim It's so good. I actually get them at McDonald's now. They're pretty good. Hmm. I don't go there very often. Yeah. Well, Tim Hortons sucks. So. McDonald's is better than Tim Hortons? Yeah. Oh, uh, better. It is. Equal. No. Better. Superior. Coffee's better. Food's better. Yeah. Well, McDonald's coffee is the coffee that Tim's used to sell. That's right, yeah. Well, I think that, yeah, I think McDonald's coffee got better and Tim's coffee got worse. Yeah. <coughs> Are we nearing our um, destination? The ship is. We've never mm. been closer. To so <laughs> <laughs> That's incorrect. Hercules has been closer. <laughs> That's a cool little pillow cave, yeah. lava cave. Yeah, someone's home in there. Imagine if a crab just rolled out of there. That would be pretty sweet. Get off my lawn. Get off my lawn. Or would it be sediment? Get off my sediment. Steph never told us what her favorite nonfiction book was. Oh, right. I was thinking. Ah, I read Braiding Sweetgrass recently by Robin Wall Kimmerer. Danielle, lo that Danielle was also good. likes that book. Did yeah. you read it? She, what is I it? didn't read it. You should? No. Danielle liked it. What's it called, Steph? Braiding Sweetgrass. I think Lauren Hudson has it on the boat. What is it about? Huh. It is about blending indigenous traditional knowledge with scientific knowledge cool. and it's very well written i had like a full-on conversation with three other people more like they were talking but then i just <laughs> inserted here and there about books yesterday evening um so it inspired me to read a bit before i go to sleep well before i went to sleep what are you reading I'm reading the Star of Del Deltora right now. Ooh, look, a red rock. Yeah. Why is this rock red, AJ? It's fascinating. <laughs> I want it to be Iron. different. It's ferrous oh. rock. Ferrous rock? Ferrous wheel. Roger. Must be. Iron Which ore? Means an iron, yeah. London Eye. There's iron in them, there are hills. There's another one up there. Mm. Wow. So colorful. We're almost to the money, boys. Let's keep looking for the red rocks. <laughs> there are people, I guess, like, I guess is like prospecting a hobby? Prospecting? Absolutely. Yeah. I have many buddies who are into prospecting. Pan. Is that a hobby everywhere? Is this like a British Columbia What does that mean? Ism? Prospecting? Like looking for gold. Uh, oh. For gold. I Thank you for that. asking that stuff because <laughs> I had the same question. <laughs> but I feel like I ask that question all the time. You can wow. find gold in most 
rivers in, especially Vancouver Island. Uh, a lot of them have gold claims, so you're not really allowed to take the gold from there. But mm. if you ignore those rules and take it anyway, you can find gold in most rivers, even What's ones that? in Victoria. Sea cucumber? Wow. That's crazy. Like enough gold to like mean anything? Or is uh, it just enough like... Enough gold to what? Enough gold to mean anything? Or is it just like molecular gold? No, no, you can see it. Like you get, not nuggets, but... Um, Flakes. Flex. Flex, yeah. You get enough that you're, if you were to do it as a career, then you would probably make about $3 an hour. Wow. <laughs> Which is not nothing as far as gold, but you're never not going to make a business out of it. But it, as a hobby, it's kind of neat. It's not my thing, but... I think the, the only time I saw someone doing it was at the potholes. I saw someone That's like across the it. way at the potholes. Oh, I bet you could get some there, Anything. yeah. That's probably not legal, but mechanically you could do it. Like Interesting. Tell me about the potholes. The souk potholes? <laughs> it's like, I guess, uh, <laughs> what river is that? Souk River? Yeah, I think it's souk. There you go. So, yeah. I'm going to zoom in on this uh, thing. All right. So you can keep it in frame and just zoom as I get closer. Sounds good to me. The Anytime. Souk, the souk River sort of hits this like section of rock that it like falls through. And it creates these really fun swimming pools. And I have you can some delta climb pools. on the you rock. Can climb on the rock, and you can jump into the pools, and you can slide down from one pool to the other. It's pretty magical. And the water's always freezing, so you only go like the hottest day of the year, and no. that's when everyone goes. It warms up by the end of the summer. Yeah. It's extra There's some. Nice. Uh, you can do bouldering there too, where if you fall, yeah, you fall in the like water. Yeah, there's some water campsites. Solo. Deep yeah. water solo, yeah. Deep water soloing. Oh, I see. So, like, instead of it being like a foamy mat under you, it's like a deep pool of water. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, that That's scary. Pretty scary. It's it sounds super like fun, how though. you break your neck. You don't want to climb with your chalk bag. No. Or shoes. <laughs> you get garbage old shoes, and it's not bad. All right, I'm not doing great there. Okay, you can come wide. Thank you. One wide. That was a beautiful. Well Coral done. Well done. That I'm looking for the name of right now. Well, what's that little stick feather thing? I gotta go. Sea uh, pen, uh, perhaps. <laughs> Bamboo yeah. coral. Oh, Trevor. No, we'll never it's know. Out of you. On my first expedition, there was a scientist fellow here, and every time he would say the name of something, I would repeat after him. Oh yeah. And then that's, that's, how that's how I would learn all the things that I'm looking at. So you could possibly say something, and I might just repeat after you. And if you get annoyed, I'll just mute myself so you don't have to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> that is my... Uh, We're probably all making it up. Except Sean, he knows. Well, I know half the time. Half the other the time, time I'm making it up. 50% <coughs> of the time, he knows every time. Yeah. Okay. We could probably just... The sea pen sounds reasonable. Oh, this is the mooring. Yeah, sorry. There's another one. Yeah, great. Thank you. Yeah, there is another one. Do you want to look at that one, AJ? I'm out in front again. If you're out in front, sure. Yeah. I got some bit of... No, it's fine. No, okay, it's go ahead and zoom, like please. Coral. Yeah, it's... This is a different one than the last one we saw, but it's still neat. Huh. Ooh. Can't, can't say I know what that is. Fan coral. That's not what this is. I'm hunting. I'm giving you the least useful view I of possible. the first one looked. I need to highlight this because it looks pretty. Zoom on a coral. Yeah, that's not a useful view. You can't see the branching or nothing. Oh, well, that's all we get. Come wide, please. Mm. Coming wide. Mm. Did you go back to the first one on there? Sorry, shucks. Ooh. This one? Yeah. Looks kind of like that. It might be the same as we zoomed on Undetermined last time. Undetermined yeah. species. I was gonna say, I think really? this uh, guide is a little bit outdated. I know, yeah. it's totally outdated. Yeah. There's an Imbari one that's really good, like a really, really comprehensive oh. guide. Definitely want to get my hands on that. Imbari. Mm. Mbaku. Imbari. T'Challa. What kind of flavor? What? <laughs> I didn't understand any of those words. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I'm just talking about names names of characters or nations no characters in the wakanda forever well, i've never seen it you've never seen wakanda forever is that no. the second one well that's the second one but i've seen the, the first, first one, first one. one. I yeah. we could do one step towards there wait mbaku is he not in the first movie i mean he yeah, could he be pardon me it was a long time ago how far away are we 
Okay, 50 meters sounds good for now. I'm a pretty big sure. fan of Marvel things. And the big fan is relative. Okay, but it wants us to search. I don't know what to search. Coral. Feather. Feather coral. I can't just make up a name. I can't figure out what I'm trying to do. Maybe let endeavor. Let me know how that goes. No representative image. It's not, it's not super helpful. I don't know how representative their guide is either for our region. What's a crinoidia? Crinoid? Crinoid? Yeah. That's it's it. like those things that are sessile. They just stay in one place. They kind of look like a tree. That's sometimes. a stocked crinoid. There's also not unstocked crinoids that swim around. Some of them move, oh, yeah. you're right. So, yeah. yeah. Some of them can, can swim. Where's your headset? You need to be in on the conversation. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what we saw was a crinoidia. Not allowed. They're um, oh, hunting down yeah. uh, like uh, identification no. keys. No, that's not it. Because it didn't, it no. like its base went all the way. Uh, yeah, it was, it was something else. It was something special. Something special. We discovered a new <laughs> organism. Isn't that crazy? What are we gonna name it, Steve? Taken. Yeah, that one's taken. Okay. Oh. Okay. Next hobby person, y'all got a. Uh, I really thought you forgot about that. <laughs> nah, bro. We have yet um, to reach our destination. So until that time comes, I'm going the town what are your hobbies i enjoy curling biking and befriending the local porcupines porcupines Whoa. this is definitely a canadian hmm. i wonder if this person even is canadian or not because i don't know the answer to that question curling that's so <clears throat> they cur do they curl in wisconsin is, what is curling like? Guess curls yeah. like this kind of curl it's where they slide the stones over ice it's a uh, oh it's a winter sport. I'll show you. It's like bowling. I'm watching. It's really bowling on ice, ice. No, with competition. My yeah, sure. It's like it's okay. If you Look, mix fish. ice bowling with like targets. Fish or to the right. Is that right? Yep. Fish off starboard. A little bit. Mm. Kind of white looking. Rat taily looking. We can have a look. I at don't think they bowl in Rhode Island. What about curling? Oh, I don't think they curl in Rhode Island. They probably bowl. Whoa. Uh, it's usually not cold enough all the time to have the... Yeah. The sheet? Yeah. Didn't know what the technical term for it is. I was going to say rink. Nope, that's the name of the team. Oh. I like AJ's theory as, um, as um, like, taking their hobbies and associating it with their place. It's the only way. Well, I mean, especially when you have such a... <clears throat> a, a localized sport like curling mm. you mean Pretty. canada versus the world or yeah like it's <coughs> i mean not well, everywhere curls isn't it a scottish sport yeah i think originally uh, sounds right. but the, i think canada uh it's way more popular in canada than in the uk there are very good uh other countries very competitive in the world stage so it's not dominated by canada not by so much means. anymore no. but it was for a long time absolutely I need, we need to hunt down the name of this fish now. All right, video, zoom in on the fish, please. So that looks like a rat tail, tail to me. That's a rat tail. A grenadier. Oh, it's it's white. It's so white. Is it that is regular? Very white, but I don't know. I haven't really seen one of these up close in a while. This is make me think about a fish saying, my backside is better than my front. You guys like it? Cold shoulder. Okay, come wide, please. Do you fish say that often? I'm mostly referring to uh, songs and oh. how I could associate that with a song. By the band Fish? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, can you pronounce the name or the logo on your hat? 
<coughs> Ciel? Ciel. Oh, I thought it was Cielly. It's French for like sky. Sky, yeah. Oh, I'm mm. definitely saying it wrong. It's a that looks like company. a sea cucumber -y thing. Ooh, maybe I can. Um, that's definitely in the guide. I've seen it. I've passed by it how many times. This is such a archaic way of finding names. <laughs> a PDF. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you control F? Whoa, look at that thing. Wow, wow that is I think it's a interesting. Sponge. Zoom in, please. Roger that. Sponges. I think it's a sponge. It's definitely a sponge. It's yeah. a boot, boot sponge. Yeah. What kind of sponge? I think it's a boot sponge. Not a beer cup sponge? I don't know. Oops. Sponge. No, that didn't get me very far. Oh, here we go. Okay, come It's wide. so fluffy on the outside. Yeah. Oh no, Can't that guy him. fell off. Going with the wind. Or current. Actually, current. Not a wind. Oh, that's better. Are sponges periphera? Yep. Cool. Make some bari. Yeah, your chair was so high. Whenever I get <laughs> in here, the chairs are so high, and I have to like bring it down too. I notice my back's starting to hurt. The Marie's on top of the <clears throat> ridge. Is that correct? Oh, Do we, we think hope it so. Okay. <clears throat> Roger. This person enjoys curling, biking, and befriending local porcupines. Did we get it right yet? I think it's Lynette. On the money. I wow. already guessed that. Yeah, Shucks, why did I not Lynette hear first. you? What? You Too weren't listening. Shoots. Maybe I heard it, but I wasn't listening. That is funny <laughs> that one of the few Americans in the room is the curler. Oh, yeah, I was, I was very wrong. I want to see videos or photos of you curling, Lynette. I've been trying to get... I've been trying to organize an ONC curling night because if you ever oh. go curling with a bunch of people who have never curled before well, that's super fun yeah it's so much fun oh, yeah, we, we should do, do that, that the night we get in yeah we used to do that at Dow that's right that's, that's the only idea. time I've curled yeah I was there that was fun I think we won I think my team won I was skipped I don't think I won <laughs> whoa where did you go why why did you do that We're going to RCM as Southwest Mooring, USBL, deploy. That's what does right. RCM stand for? I don't even Regional know. Regional Circulation, Circulation Mooring. Hmm. Huh. Yaw. Regional Circulation Mooring, Southwest Mooring. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds silly when you read it out like that, Trevor. Sorry. Just please stop that. <laughs> Please stop that. I like the acronym for the deep water acoustic lander. Dow. The Dow. Dow which Since comes from, from Dalhousie yeah, University. Well yeah. Well done, Dalhousie. Dave Barkley. Dave. Oh, is it from Dalhousie? Yeah. Oh, that's clever. What do you think? How far? Um, from Atalanta, I have 60 meters. Okay. Dave and it's 30 from Herc. Brendan. Yeah. 40. You want to take a 20 meter step there? Might as well. Okay. See anything cool. in sonar? Maybe. Bridge nav. Possibly, yeah. Or another ridge line. Hard to say. Can we move two zero meters, three zero five, please? Thank you. I bet it's Maybe. That. Yeah. If maybe. anything. Maybe, maybe. Oh, I see something there, too. That's yeah. what, 20, 30, 40, 38 meters, so we'll find out. Keep at it. On the hunt. 
That's quite consistent, that. Or not, as it sweeps by again. <laughs> or not. Yeah. Let me just drag my cow catcher on all these rocks on the way down slope. That's perfect. Whoops. Oh, that's amazing. Has anyone gotten into the bugs craze? Anybody no, playing bugs yet? Not played bugs yet. Mm -hmm. I like that they've rebranded it. What is it actually called? Hive? Pocket it's called Hive. Bugs. It's oh. called Hive. Hive? Yeah. I'm just glad to see a few new names on the crib board. Yeah, it sounds like Shane's been cleaning up for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Shane will have to adopt that tradition himself. If I get skunked again, do I have to like put a tally next to my name? Uh, as long as it's very obviously a tally. Or Why? you just write you think a I should just write it again? Yeah, there's some people around there three uh, times. I don't like that. <coughs> but has anybody is anybody one for one on that skunk yard? What do you mean one for one? Oh, I've only played crib once on that board. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. just you. Actually, we might have played more than one Maybe game. 18 meters? No, I think I got, co got COVID too fast. <laughs> no, 18 I mean, meters, you didn't find out about the COVID until the next day. That's true. I'm amazed I didn't get I was so nervous I was going to end up in the brig on the tully. I can't believe Simon didn't get it. I was sharing a room with him. Yeah. Fifteen meters, maybe. I don't know. I'm looking at that. Yeah, just a little off the starboard, maybe. Yeah. Yep. I've been seeing that one for three or four minutes now, so. Too bad there's no like uh, <coughs> floodlights on Hercules, where you could like shine out super far, and then you could film the Atalanta view. Like stadium lighting. Yeah. Like a spotlight with like a police yeah, cruiser. High beams. What you need is a water filter strainer to clear out all the backscattery things. Is that something I can? Or am I hallucinating? Looks like there's something maybe right here. No way to know. <coughs> but yeah, absolutely, that's going to be it. 100% certainty. Nope, 92% certainty. That's pretty good viz, 15 meters. If that is matching the sonar target, so. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, there's a good shadow with that as well. I'm not a big fan of the tilted down action on this thing. I feel like it gets too much ground, but yeah. All right. So, what do you want to do now that we're here? Let's take a location. And then let's do a vertical survey where we stop at two minutes in front of every package. Roger, do you want a, uh, is there a USBL on this thing? There's, ooh, there is. It's going to be on the second package and we're going to take it down. 
Great. Okay. <laughs> what do you think, Lynette? How much more is Atalanta going to swing? I don't know. Do you want maybe another 10 meter step? I'm fine to be patient. I don't okay. I'd rather be too far than too close. Yeah. But uh, I haven't been paying close enough attention. Yeah, to it is still moving slowly. Okay, let's just uh, wait it out. Okay. <laughs> Those train wheels are pretty buoyant. <laughs> no, I think it's the float that's buoyant. <laughs> oh, my mistake. Yeah, I get that confused all the time. <laughs> but yeah, what's the what's the deal with this package? Well, uh, yeah, the floats are just really, really buoyant. I don't know why we use these floats. I think we may have inherited the floats, mm. and then we're we're we just decide to slap two train wheels on it like it's nothing. Bequeathed to you. Yeah, I, the, it seems like too much tension, if you ask me. How heavy are train wheels? 750 pounds around. How do you, where do you get train wheels from? <coughs> uh, old trains, you find old trains. <laughs> uh, ask a silly question. <laughs> <Both feet. laughs> oh, that was a head desk. Hey, sorry. <laughs> I don't know where we got our shipment of train wheels from. We did, we did sort of get a big order of them, because uh, you you buy them in bulk, I guess. Uh, Trainwheelsrus.com.org. Uh, we're making our way through them, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But they were really expensive. When do you plan on recovering them from the seafloor? Um, when we remove our infrastructure. Roger. Nab, do you have a good feed on this position yet? Um, the mooring position? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like the target that we have in there is pretty good. I can bring that up. Cool. Yep. Looks like Atalanta is probably settling out here. Okay, we might need a little bit closer then. Okay, maybe just 10, 10 meters. meters. Yeah. Okay. Bridge now. <coughs> Can we have one zero meters three two five, please? Thank you. Can we get a zoom on that wire strop? Yeah, you can. Uh, just work on getting a little closer first. Do you have what you need back there for a position? I do, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, AJ, is this going to be a similar structured uh, mooring? Very similar. No okay. L-box, no cables, but same idea, four packages. Roger. Big orange buoy at the top, no ADCPs on it. Okay. Uh, it might be a little bouncy, but you can zoom in there, video. Roger that. And I'm just going to make my way up. How's that, AJ? Is that good? Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, coming up. Do you need the lasers on still, or can I kill them? Uh, you can kill the lasers. We know how big our instruments are. Yeah, Roger. I wonder if these ones are also have to deploy this side up, upside down. There we go. Well, hello. Yeah, that, that explains why that splice looks so funny. They're usually wrapped. That's a beautiful whip. It's a lot of whip, too. It is a lot of whip. Much longer than the whip that I did. Okay, come wide, please. Here's our acoustic release. <coughs> Some good product placement for X-Blue. 
What are they called now? I don't know. They're not called X-Blue? XC? XC, you changed to X-Blue, and now they're called something else. Or is X-Blue the product line and XC is the company? Yep. I don't think so. I think XC rebranded to X-Blue like, I don't know, 10 years ago? Five years ago, something? Hello, instrument. Instruments, first CTD. All right, so if we can wait here for two you minutes. Go. Okay, waiting here, You're two minutes. You're gonna see a lot of this. Why do we pause on these for two minutes? Uh, it's to let the ROV CTD yeah. settle, and then we use the ROV CTD as a reference gotcha. reading cool. for our CTDs. Hey, that this we're side up at. It looks good. I think somebody just put the sticker on upside down on the old one. Maybe, yeah. That's why the text is right side up. Dave, can you line me up a little more on Atalanta, please? Yep. I don't think ever in my life have I looked forward to breakfast as much as I have working this 12 to 12 shift. <laughs> yeah. Pulled around quite a bit still. Yeah, Roger. That last ship move should help us. Yeah, I'm just going to let that settle out and see where it comes. Thank you. It's a long gap between meals yeah. for us midnight shifters. Yeah, to start your day and work for seven and a half hours before eating is a tough go. It's a lot of peanuts and raisins in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right, that's two minutes there. Yeah, it is. Come on. Is this... Yeah. The one. Oh, there's optodes on it. Is there no ADCP? There's no ADCP. So you can't do autonomous? Uh, you can. I just think the South West oh, never had an ADCP. Like some of them do, some of them don't. Oh. I don't know, we chose early which ones got them. That float did not look like it slid. Or maybe it did. I don't know. Well, it didn't slide all the way. Mm-hmm. So there's probably going to be a USBL on this next package. <coughs> Roger. And do you want to stake that off on the way up or the way down? Way down, I guess, makes sense. Doesn't really matter, but I guess we can kind of get this done. Well, actually, no, let's do way up because we don't have to survey on the way down. So we could actually okay. then back away and do our ship moves towards okay. the cable tester. Roger. There's no real reason to come down this morning. Roger. Without the cables and the tape, it's hard to see how fast I'm going up. I have my instrumentation, but no visual reference. Yeah. <coughs> like blue water. Mm -hmm. 
And then all of a sudden a football flows. Shoom. Yeah, exactly. Shooting by. Here's one now. Oh, yeah, we're crawling. Confirmed. I'm just far away. We're running up 20 meters a minute. 17. I can get close to the next one if you want, AJ. There it is. Uh, yeah, this one we've got to pull. Okay. And uh, that'll count as our two minutes. Yeah, we can start our two minutes here. Okay, video super double extra wide, please. Dave, you've got arm view in that pilot cam. If you want more, let me know. Yeah. So is it going to fall as this we pull is that a, pull This pin? is an excellent question. I was not awake when they rigged this. So why don't we, can we have a little look around to the right? Yep. And see if... Uh, That'd be neat. Hopefully the pull pin is tied to, the bungee is tied to the USPL. Yeah, it doesn't look like it is. <laughs> Well, isn't that a treat? It's on. A, is that a tie wrap? Can you zoom in, please, video? Can I do that. The, white, the rope is the loop. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a, that's a cut line, like that's a cut washer for the zip in. tie. Good there. The bungee. Yeah, that's right. I don't really see what the bungee's doing. There's a bolt on it. That's neat. Oh, how am I flying this? All right, there we go. Glad we thought of the bolts. Uh, the bungee looks like it might be tied around the other side. Oh no, there's your pull pin on the bungee. It looks like that pull line. No, I don't know. Yeah. I can go around a little bit more here. There's two, there's a cut washer and there's a pull line. The cut washer, so if we do the pull line, the zip tie might keep this thing up and then we can just rip it free. I'm just yes, what? thinking if we grab the white loop and just pull up. What's the what's attached away. to the anything attached to the thing itself? The beacon itself? What do you mean? I don't want to let this beacon fall. Are the any of the pull pins or releases or anything, bungees, whatever, tied no. to the beacon? No. So You're gonna have to get you're gonna have to get an arm on the beacon at some point and I'm thinking maybe rip it up the zip tie. Oh. We're gonna use two arms for this. Um, so unless, I'm it, do you think you can break a zip tie just by pulling the beacon away from the instrument package with one arm? Maybe. Come on, I think that video. might be worth a try. Is there not anything we can grab where you just lift it away, even if you pull it out of the bungee, but it breaks the zip tie and we just pull it away and over the bungee? Maybe. So there's two stages, is what I'm hearing. Yep. Do you want to try? Do you want to try the cut line first? Yes. Okay. And then leave the bungee Sorry. until later. No. Bungee first. Bungee cut line first. second. Uh, okay. I think that the zip tie will hold better than the bungee. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The If the bungee was done nice and tight, it's on a lip. The cut line will require much more force and it's much more jerking action. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll do what you want. Yeah. I say let's pull the pin. Pull the pin first, Roger. And okay. then I don't even think we have to use the cut washer. I think we can just pull this free. Okay, Roger that. So which one of those? It's the one with the bolt on it. That's going to be on the right side. Let me know if you need a better arm view. You got it in that pilot cam. That newly... Uh, just above the main Zeus cam, they got a new, yeah. newly oriented camera there. It's all flared out. Yeah. Yeah. The one that's yeah hardly usable. That one. I believe we saw this being pulled up. Yeah.
Nice spin. Good maneuver. And I think that bungee is just going to go bye bye. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to stay That's as stable right. as I, I can. Know. I know. You're, you're fine. Let me come left a little. Yeah. Ah, sorry. Okay, arms clear. Okay. What do we need? <coughs> okay, it's coming back around. Yep. Okay. Can Where we let that drop, AJ? Just it? Can you put it in the toolbox? Okay. Stand by, Dave. Yep. Just racking the camera in. No worries. Uh, camera's all the way in. You can bring the arm down and I'll follow you down. Tool tray coming out. <laughs> huh. uh, okay. Did you put a buoyant bolt in there? Yeah, that's it's a uh, tactic foam bolt. <laughs> yeah, that's a trick bolt. Yeah, I'll say. If you turn it sideways, I think it might go. Yeah. Neat. Wild. That's hysterical. You yeah, got Dave. that magnetic jaw on? There you yeah, go. Yeah, I think so. Stainless magnetic. Yeah. Okay, now let's get ready for phase two of this operation. So I, I think phase two is get the jaw oh. around the beacon and try to yank it off. I think if we leverage it against the, like the plastic piece on the top of the beacon against uh. the plastic bracket of the instrument, yeah. I think it'll break that zip tie. So you want us to like pry it out? Yes. Understood. Okay. You got that, Dave? Okay. You're grabbing, you might have more success if you grab it a little lower down on the body. Okay. Still try to aim for either the red or the black. Somewhere in the red. Yeah. Yeah. The black's fine too. That's just tape. Extra tape for extra protection. You're good whenever you're ready. Yeah, understood. I can get you bubble here. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't use this thing. This thing's not working. It was supposed to stop it going to sleep. I don't know. Uh, that was the whole goal. You can use the yeah. interface there. I don't want to. Yeah, right. I don't want to lean in there while we're 
mid water next to a mooring. <clears throat> I can come up in the water too a little. Uh, hold up. Holding. Oh. Not, not trying to come up, but here I am. Yeah, there's not going to be a lot you can do about it every time I touch it. It's going to totally. Work. Yeah. heading is on, that's what my problem is. Let me, here, get out of there a sec, let me get you closer. I was like, why is my heading not behaving? Because I got the auto on. <coughs> uh, I'm going to get a little closer. Okay, mm -hmm. you can probably go ahead there. Nice. Don't hatch nope. your chickens yet, AJ. No, it's rolled up. <coughs> your grip is locked open right now, just so you know. Maybe some wrist twist. Yeah. Nice. There you go. All nice. right. Whew. Okay, well that's done. two minutes, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can let Dave get organized, though, yeah, if he absolutely. wants to put that somewhere. Hey, do you know if there's anything floaty in the starboard bio box? Uh, there's. I, we haven't been into the starboard bio box, so I can't imagine the other crew would have put something floaty in there. You can bring that around the side, Dave. I'll get your camera set up for that. Yeah. Probably just a bunch of parking positions. I could do with just seeing the arm for a second and see how it was up. Yeah, Roger. Cheers. We know when you're ready for a starboard uh, bio box out. Yeah, go for it. In fact, let's give us, give us the s sample salvo. If you're okay. Yeah, yeah you're I can do it. Okay. Okay, uh, Trey coming out more. Yep. I'm giving you just that. There goes the cut washer. That's in the box for posterity. Beautiful. Can you open that box a bit further? Yeah. Cheers. Whoop. Go ahead until it ejects. <laughs> right, releasing. Okay. Okay, boxing in. Got a box full of beacons. Beacon box. Doing dive salvo. Yes, please. Go for it. Oh. 
Okay, we, we're good to carry on to the next one whenever you're ready, front row. Roger that. Roger. <sighs> All right. Let's come in. Or come, you know, up. Mm -hmm. oh, nice job there. Honestly, looks like I'm staying perfectly still. I should probably scan out my camera anyway. Yeah. Pretty calm. And then Cascadia, which is where we're heading. Looks really calm nice. all the way through till, I mean, even that's the end of the cruise right there. So looks like we're not gonna have seas over 1.4. Wow, great. I know. Relax. You can leave your drinks on your tables. <laughs> I'm losing Doppler. Yeah, I switched the T1 there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did already. You did already. Yep. You're on it. Thank you. Yep. You are on it. The back deck frog is confused face today. <laughs> is that what you call I it? Chuckle at you, not SBA. Back deck frog? Yeah. That's funny. I like that. Yeah. Okay. 5440 is the oh, time. Oh, yeah. We're starting okay. that. I'm just going to give you a little back release on a bit. Should I put some? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> I wish. Oh yeah, right, I'm floaty now. <laughs> Yeah, not right now. There's a strike on shore for BC port. Port. Yeah. We're standing by. Okay. Two minutes is up. All right. Let's go. Going up. This is a mooring, yes? This is a mooring. It's not this an autonomous mooring. Boring. It has a battery in it and doesn't need to be plugged in. That's right. How long does it deploy for? This mooring is boring. Um, one year. Cool. And if you didn't already know, we just deployed it last night. That's right. Late. This was the last yeah, one. It was actually deployed early this morning, technically. Early this morning? Oh, really? Yeah, they were still deploying it when I got up. Oh, wow. So what time was launch? For this one? Can you come up faster, Dave? Like 12.30? Yep. 12.15, mm. maybe. Oh, is that the plan? The plan so. was as long as it takes. i to hold here for a sec. We knew that this one was the easiest one, so we were okay doing it in the dark. That's too fast. Yeah. Grateful for the beautiful weather yesterday. Oh, yeah. This is as good as it gets. How long is this weather expected to the, last? The seas are going to stay relatively calm till the end of the cruise. Nice. The way you answered that made me think there's something else to expect. Well, I don't know if you're asking about sun, because it's, it's sun's not in the forecast gonna be cloud. Okay. That's fine. Until Friday. Looks like Friday might get sunny. Cool. Thir Thursday or Friday. There was some sun yesterday. And tonight. There was, yeah. And tonight we'll see a hint of sun. Nice sunset. A hint of night sun? A hint of night sun at <laughs> 6 p.m. When we'll all be sound asleep. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm going to push the camera in just a touch to get it past the uh, housing. Sure. That's there. What kind of fish that is? I don't know. It doesn't look like the one we saw earlier. 
to the name I don't remember. It's going up faster than we are. Where did it go now? Did it go down or up? It went up. Maybe we'll catch it. What's He's that shadow? Oh, I don't know. Some jelly. Eat my dust. Oh, we found you. I mean, whatever that is, it doesn't look like it's uh, having a good day. <laughs> Bad day fish. Too close. Football. Football. That's another jelly. All right. All right. Zero, zero, 45. Yep. Looks like these floats did it, did not slip. Must have tape inside. I wonder if these ones were deployed using Bonk. Bennett's method. What's the uh, different The Bennett's method. method. Bennett's method. Well, Bennett sent us with these, um, this tubing. So there's like an inner layer of tubing and an outer layer of tubing, and you have to use this like push rod to like push the tubing under the football float to sort of avoid that hassle. We used for the RCM Southeast mooring, we used the floats that came off of the old RCM Southeast mooring. And those are the and ones we that just slid? used vulcanizing tape, yeah. Roger. Maybe the Bennett method, would you say? Maybe the, that's the thing to do. The Bennett method, maybe. Can we get some zoom on the top of the float? Uh, is that going to take me away from my spot, or do you care that close enough? I don't care that close enough. Okay. Zoom in, please. On zoom the top in. of the float. I mean, where's the CTD on the ROV? We're probably off by that amount of error. Can I have front porch view, please? No, I can't see the, uh, the tubing. Front porch view on the bubble cam? That's fine. You can <coughs> come out. Okay, come on. Would you come expect it to I was, come yeah. out the edge if it was the Yeah, method. if it was pushed in, maybe it would be like right up to the lip. Not sure wasn't there. I'll make that clear as uh, we find more instruments on board. <laughs> Whoa. Neat. He's not supposed to do that. <laughs> ah. Neat. When it works, it's great. It's those buttons, though. Yeah, those are the presets. But I don't know how to wake it up when it falls asleep. Maybe a trigger? I just pushed. All right, stop. that's two, two minutes. minutes. Okay, going up. Down up. If I've been keeping count, that should be the last package, but. How high to, number the, four. to the top? I've been wrong. Uh, we'll find out. The mouse went up the clock. It's a 250 meter long cable. So what was bottom depth here? 2230. I could ask you the same question. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I think it's around 2220. 2220 minus yep. 200, so 2020. Oh, uh, we're past that. Oh no, yeah. 2250. So it'd be 19. Yeah, I think it was shallower than that. 21 something. Yeah, I am. Are the ones without ADCP shorter? Uh, no, they're both. Well, oh, so I, yeah, the I guess other one was 20 meters shorter. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely was, Dave. This one could be 270 uh, after all the packages and everything. Hanging on. Well, on either end. It's 250 meters of That's yellow. That's tether coming off the back of the vehicle. Okay. You can come up more on your delta. Yeah. It's been sat right between 30 and 35 the whole time. Yeah. I was a little heading tough to yeah. swing around a little bit, so 